Hi, this is Muhammad Barakat. Welcome in my blog site. In this video, I'll present to you how you can use the Gold Seek feature in Microsoft Office Excel to find out the correct input value to a formula in order to get a desired result from this formula. For example, if your January cost is $5,000 and your revenue is $7,000, then obviously your profit will be the revenue minus cost which is two thousand dollars well suppose that you want your February cost to remain constant five thousand dollars and you want the profit to jump to three thousand dollars so what should your sales or revenue be to achieve this profitability Well, in, in this simple formula, it is easy to reverse your calculation and say that your revenue should be the profit plus the cost, which is $8,000 revenue. However, in complex formulas, this will not be an easy job to do. Okay. Let's take a scenario in which you plan to borrow some money from the bank, say to buy a house. The bank offered you 8% interest rate over a period of 120 months or 10 years for a $60,000 loan. You simply calculated monthly payment using the PMT or payment function in Excel which is a function that calculates the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. Here in this function you first specify the rate which is the interest rate per period of the loan. So since your payments are monthly then you divide the interest rate by 12 comma to go to the next argument of the function you specify here the NPER or the uh, the number of payments or the uh, loan period in months here you select the 120 months comma you finally specify the present value which is the total amount of loan you plan to borrow you select the sixty thousand dollars hit enter so this function tells you that you would have to pay seven hundred and twenty eight dollars a month over a period of one hundred and twenty months in order to pay back a loan of sixty thousand dollars Okay, this is the easy part of the scenario. Suppose that you go home and say to yourself, oh, wait a minute, but I don't think I'll be able to pay this monthly amount. I can, I can only afford to pay around $500 a month. So what's the period I expect myself to pay back this $60,000 loan? Here you need to do some reverse calculations actually and figure out the loan period in months based on a desired formula result which is the $500 that you can afford as a monthly payment. Since Excel uses I would say a hidden logic or formula to calculate loan payment you need to use another feature that performs the reverse calculation for you which is the gold seek feature okay and in this scenario you go to data tab and under data tools you hit the what if analysis arrow and select the gold seek okay 
In the Goal Seek dialog box, specify the reference of the cell that contains the formula of the desired result. In this case, it is the payment cell, which is F10. Go back to the dialog box. In the second argument or box, you specify the, the amount of the payment that you can afford to pay, which is in this case the $500. Notice that the, the value of the payment should be negative because it is payment. And finally, you specify the reference of the cell that contains the value you want to adjust to in order to reach your desired payment amount. So, you need to adjust the loan period in order to get the $500, which is the result of the formula. Hit OK. Well, the result says that goal seeking with cell F10 found a solution. Interesting. This message actually tells us that goal seeking may not find a solution in case of unrealistic or unreasonable combination of inputs to the formula. Hit OK. So, as you can see, you can fix the result of the formula to any desired value, then use goal seek to figure out what input value should be to reach that formula result. So, for the $500 payment, monthly payment, you can pay back the loan, which is $60,000, within 242 months which is to 20 years. I hope that through this video I made it simple for you to do reverse calculations using the goal seek feature when it is difficult or sometimes actually impossible to do it manually. Thank you for listening and see you in next videos.